Hey folks and friends, Mike here. Today I want to talk about a quick little tip how to um, use room microphones on Steven Slade drums in a creative way and to really benefit from the good sounding room microphone Steven Slade drum has. Um, for this example, I've loaded up, you see here, just a basic um, sample package from Steven Slade drums using the awesome sounding deluxe samples. I've already routed them out. You see I jumped into the mixer section here. You see I've chose different mono outputs for the instruments and two stereo outputs for the room and the overheads running into Reaper. I already named the channels you see here from kick to room um, and I've just loaded up um, a quick MIDI groove uh, from Steven Slade drum. So first let's have a quick listen how, how those samples sound on their own. So the good and well-known and highly uh, high recorded, uh, good sounding Stephen Slade samples. Uh, when it comes to processing room microphones, um, they can really make a difference. I already talked about that. Um, but there are sometimes uh, kind of problems when compressing room microphones. Um, it has kind of a pro and con, and I will show you what I mean. I've just loaded up um, Steven Slate, um, the virtual mix track, um, his own mixing plugins, just for the sake of this video. When I now start compressing the room microphones, it really makes the room microphone or the room sounding bigger and larger, but there's uh, one like downside of compressing room microphones, um, it will bring up the symbols way too much. So let's have a listen. First is bypass and then I will kick in the compressor. So by using compressors on room microphones, you can really like make this uh, room sound bigger, which is quite of a cool effect. Um, but you have to be careful with the settings. Uh, compression um, glues the track together, but this will ending just uh, like you heard and bringing up the symbols um, quite upfront, which can be annoying sometimes. Of course, there would be a common trick just to make kind of parallel processing to duplicate that track and to separate them separately. But um, you will always have the problem that the symbols are in the room mics, which is basically like um, the real deal, right? When you record a drum set, you always have the symbols in the room. But the magic of using drum sample software, virtual instruments, is that you can like uh, find a cool turnaround, which I want to show you today. So for this example, let's say we was just want to make benefit of the drum shells or the snare and the toms uh, in those room mics um, from Steven State Drum to really to cut through and to make them sound larger than life without having this annoying um, symbol bleed coming through. So what you can do, uh, just create uh, with an Reaper, just create um, a new virtual instrument, uh, load another instance of Steven Slate Drum, uh, which will create just like the same amount of channels uh, as before. And I will pick just the same samples that I used for um, the track before, which was the Tama Belbrez snare. Uh, and the um, toms from Pearl. So just drag and drop them up to here. Um, and by the way, because I got this question from Cell, I think one of my uh, fellow subscribers here, how to use or how to see this overview, um, just go into the settings page here on Steven Slate Drums, uh, activate the use kit view uh, or the use cells view. And when I now go back to the construct kit, you see like the common uh, overview here, but um, I prefer the other view because um, I see instantly which kit pieces I use and uh, and this view I have to click on or with the, uh, move the mouse uh, to the existing um, drums to see what sample I use. So uh, just by the way showing this, use the cell view uh, so I instantly see which samples I used. So um, now as a second step, you have to just copy that MIDI track or your MIDI performance uh, and put it right on the second instance of Steven Slate drums. Like insert that here, I will just 
delete those tracks here that I don't need. Um, I will solo this. <clears throat> and what you now want to do uh, when you now go uh, to the mixer section, um, of course, all the direct microphones were loaded, the overheads in the room, but we just want to use the room microphone. So just bring all the faders down to in um, to like silent them, or you can of course mute them as well, would be the same effect. Um, I don't need the overheads as well, so we just need the room microphones. Uh, and when I now play back the groove on this instance of uh, Steven Slate drums, you will hear just the snare and the toms going on running through this stereo channel. Jumping to the section with the toms. So let's name this track, let's say, um, Room Drums. And what you can, now can do, of course, just drag the track up to the um, performance of this one, because like um, Reaper will trigger, of course, both MIDI um, performances at the same time. Bring the fader down, and when you now bring the fader up, once the performance is running, you uh, really hear what I mean. And of course now the benefit is I will just drag and drop um, the Roger Minst uh, mix track here um, and I, now I can really go overboard because of course this is kind of parallel processing but just for the snare and the tom so we can really make benefit of the good sounding room within Steven State drums. So let's like just on the fly um, um, exaggerate the effect here to make it more obvious. So really suck the life out of the performance. Let's jump to the tom section here. So let's add another EQ. Let's say we're adding some, uh, quite a lot of low end, a little bit of high mids, and removing some boxiness in the low mids. Of course, this is way too much if it were the common uh, room microphones, but let's listen when I drag it down back again, uh, play the performance and we'll slowly blend that track in. You can like even simulate kind of a reverb effect going on without using reverb. Just make use of the uh, really decent and good sounding, great sounding room microphone Steven uh, used for the Steven Slate drums. Uh, so this is a cool uh, turnaround trick. So um, I hope you find this one helpful. If you have any questions regarding this topic, leave a comment below. Thanks so far for watching, uh, guys, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.